We've not looked at vans for a while on old Zambo TV. Today we've got a special guest, George. How you doing? How we doing? You yeah. Right? So when did you get the van, George? I uh, got it in about June. June. Your plan is to do a conversion and move into it. Ah, uh, that's the plan. Now, what, what did you say it was the next area? Um, yeah, down in Bath, down in England. So you bought it in June, it was an RAF thing, it's very low mileage, isn't it? Uh, 90, 91, 92,000 miles. 92,000 miles for a van of this age, what's that, an 04, so that's what, 2014? No, 2004. Two, 2004, that's, just, that's absolutely remarkable. You're planning to move into this thing in a fortnight, George? That's the plan. Aye. Plenty to do. Still. So what have you done to it already? Uh, it's fully insulated, windows in, solar panels. So you did the windows and stuff yourself? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I completely replaced the floor as well with all this aluminium. That was all rotten plywood, so that's... So that was a pig. What, uh, that comes all the way underneath there, isn't it? Point to it again, George, would you? You've done all that as well? All this, yeah. George, are you a woodworker to trade? What is it you do? Nah, I work for Forestry Commission. Forestry yeah, Commission. So, solar panels up in the top. Yeah. You got a great deal on them? Yeah. I had uh, 500 watts of solar, it was like 100 quid. 100 quid, so you can't argue with that. What's been the most expensive thing in the conversion? To, or, in fact, let's what, what start from, what's been the most time-consuming thing in the conversion? Uh, insulation. Insulation? Sure. Insulation hey. and leak. Now, so tell, tell the, my, my 160 <laughs> subscribers about your leak. Uh, so I had a leak down at the front end of the loot in there, both okay. at the front corners. And what was the cause behind that? Uh, well, it was just a bit of sealant on the on the loot and body itself. So uh, some mastic went on it? At, at the back end and it was tracking all the way down. Alright. Uh, so you had to re reseal the whole thing and get water? So I've, re I've resealed all the rivets and everything in, a, in an attempt to stop it. Finally. Tight as a drum now? Aye. Aye. You put on heavier duty springs as well? Yep. Right, so there's an extra leaf in each one of these springs yeah, in the back. Yeah. What was what was the thinking behind that? Well, it's going to be pretty pretty heavy by the time the the, the, the conversion built. Okay. Um, so the insulation's been the most time consuming. What about what's been the most expensive thing? Uh, well, the insulation's been the most time consuming. What's been the most expensive thing? Um, it'll probably be the electrics in total. Um, right. So what what did you what's involved with the electrics? George, we've got two big so leisure two batteries. Two AGM leisure batteries, and then we've got how many amp hours are they? So they're 120 each. 120 amp hours each. So that's what 240 amp hours. So you've got. 240, and then I've got so I've mostly got red, oh, there's a, red energy a, a, stuff. So that's a DC DC charger, and then I'll have a an MPPT uh, solar charge controller that'll fit in as well, and then there'll be a shore power hookup. Uh, inverter, so all that stuff, you know. So that all adds up, doesn't that it? all adds up. Yeah. Basically. And then the cables themselves. There's a few hundred quid in cables. Yeah, the price of everything is going absolutely right, bonkers just now, isn't yeah. it? Uh, we're, 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 getting, we're getting it stuck right in our backsides just now, George. Kitchen area? Kitchen. Yep. Gas? Uh, there'll be a refill of the gas it bottle on the porch bit here. So you're actually going to, going to fit the gas bottle in at the back there? Yeah. yeah amazing stuff. Uh, bed up the back, you're not putting any shower in or no, toilet facilities in it? No, there'll be a toilet, this is the toilet here. Okay. Uh, but no shower, it'll just get too damp. Right. Any leaks, we'll just bend that there. Any idea of the amount of hours you've got in it? Absolutely no idea. Absolutely, so has it been like a weekend thing or have you had a chance uh, to... A weekend and... Nights? And evenings, yeah. Over the course of the winter? Yeah, pretty much. Yeah, so not a great time to do a build. Well, all I can say is I wish you every success with the build, George. I think the van's going to look absolutely great, and two weeks from now, you're living in this thing. Yep, yeah. <laughs> Brilliant. Yeah, good. Well, I, again, you can still you can chip away at stuff yeah, as, you're, yeah. uh, as, as you're in, uh, as as uh, as in the build. As long as the essentials are in, I'll be fine. Okay, so we've not done any van up uploads in the old Zambo TV in an awful long time. I think everybody, all my followers, the 166 of you, should wish George... Uh, Many happy adventures in his new his new career and his new life at Oban. That's going to be a bit, a bit gnarly. The oh, weather's not, nice. not, not known for being the best up there. Uh, right, George, at the end of my videos, as usual, get my guests to give us a thumbs up and say, right, bye-bye, YouTube. Good man. Bye-bye, YouTube. Right, cheers, George. Thanks very much for your time.